at it again, um, we're expanding the sheep shed. The first intention was to build a new sheep donkey shed up the hill a little bit, and I'll show you that a little further into this, this video. Um, but we ended up having lambs sooner than expected, and the shed was just too small and, and not what we had intended to keep them in. Uh, we were not gonna tear down this shed. For any of you who don't know why we had this small little rickety shed, it's because of me. I ended up rescuing a couple of donkeys and had them before we had the area to put them in. So we rushed, got the area ready, then when we knew we were gonna get sheep, converted it, didn't have a chance to get to the bigger build last year because so many things were going on that we had lambs. So here we are again with animals and not a better spot for them to be in. So Mr. Blue Jeans talked about extending this area down here because what we're going to do when the sheep and donkeys clear out of this expanded um, older area is to use it for a hospital shed. If we end up having a sick pig or a turkey or a cow or who knows, a giraffe, I don't know, I'll rescue most anything. Um, we, we probably have to cut a hole in the roof for the giraffe, but you know. Um, then we can use this area because it's set up for a little bit of everything and have them convalesce there or, or whatever needs to happen. So I'm totally on board. I love the idea. Also, I haven't really talked about this, but uh, about two months ago, our baby boy Parker, our donkey, my love, passed away in a fluke way. He decided eating a half a sheet of, of plywood was a great idea. It makes no sense to this day. I've talked to equestrian experts. I've talked to all kinds of people wondering what I did wrong. We fed them three times a day, plus they got treats. Um, I, I don't know. We, we got a hold of the vet. We did everything we could, gave him the medicine, and it, it just, he just didn't make it. So tin, tin, tin. I am doing tin walls, tin roofs. Uh, I don't ever want to have something like this happen again. So that, um, fortunately, we have lots of tin here and uh, we'll be able to complete it in tin. So I'm going to finish cutting and then in a little bit, I'll show you around what the expansion is and, and what we're doing with it. Well, the project's coming along. As you can see, I got this wall uh, back up in tin. And the, you can now see on the other side, there's tin inside as well. And I'll take you around to the back side here. Now you're back side, Clyde. Now you're back side, buddy. Beep, beep. Um, that's my escape hatch. Clyde, Clyde has personality. Usually we call him Clyde the curmudgeon. So um, I like to have a little spot where if I'm in here giving them their grain and putting their hay in their hay rack that we're going to have to hang back up, that I can get out because I have been kicked twice by Claudia. <clears throat> First one I deserved, 
We had him three days. I was petting on him. He didn't want me to pet on him. I'm like, I'm gonna pet you. And then I stopped mid-step and realized he had kicked me. So I learned from there the second time, not so much. And then he also does like to bite sometimes. But there's other days he's super lovey. So we love him and we work with him. And I'm trying to have him get a little more, bit more even tempered, but that remains to be seen, but he's here to stay. So we work with knowing that he can be running hot or cold or hot and cold in the same day. Uh, so that part will get, that little piece of wood will get cut out and I can just hop right out there. So here's the addition part, here's the back side. This is where the sheep, the girls, all of our ewes will be. And inside there, there will be the jug that we haven't built yet, but we will in time. No more plywood roof, no more plywood at all. We now have tin, which is wonderful. We will also have a rain catchment system with an IBC off to the other side. Give me a second, I'm gonna take you around to the other side. All right, so still more, still more work to do here. This plywood piece is now gone and tin has gone up. More tin will go across this way up until about, oh, right here. Then there'll be a frame for our door to go in to the U's house. The jug will be back here. This will be the halfway point. We'll have two. And then, you know, the gate like we had in the other one. And the rest of this will be where their, their hay is, rack is going to hang over here. And then their water will be on this side because hay and water do not mix. <laughs> they tend to make a sloppy mess. Uh, we also pushed out this side. We had had sort of an alleyway. We had had a consideration of perhaps when we first got the donkeys, running them in sort of an alley around the whole uh, area that we were gonna have for sheep, but we're, we're thinking something different now. We're thinking out there may be a, a place where they can go ahead and, and roam once we get it uh, fenced properly. They'll have a bigger area to roam. And then maybe in about five years or something, get a, um, a couple of uh, cows uh, because our two donkeys grew up, they were protecting a herd of cows, so they're, they're comfortable with cows. Anyway, uh, so this, those T-posts are coming out. We pushed it further out to the edge here where you see these T-posts. And so the girls have a little bit of a fun area back in here too. It gets nice and shady from the beautiful walnut trees that we have. Um, and, and there you go. This is not done yet. The boys' cabin, what do you call that? The man cave, not done yet. Uh, so still more to do in here, removing the doors. They're gonna go over there so the boys have more room. Uh, the most we'll keep our two rams, Angus, and we're probably gonna keep Perry. He's our little white guy. Um, we call him the Disney la uh, lamb <laughs> because he has the cutest little voice. We, we know his voice from every other lamb and he comes running up to you. He loves people. So he's our little Disney boy and we thought if we're gonna have two for now, we'll keep him and then down the road for genetics trade somebody off and bring in um, a, a fresh ram. But that's down the road, Not nothing that we need to work with right now. So there we are, almost done. I'm so excited about getting this finished. It, it's going to, it's gonna be a nice structure for anything we do with it in the future. And uh, like I said, the other, uh, the other sheep shed, uh, hopefully later this year, will go further up the hill because the sheep are going further up the hill because that's where my vineyard's going to be someday. Always a plan. All right, back to work.